My, you gotta let me go out tonight because... Mr. Gleason, you have to give me an A because... Hey, yo, the best place to get a pizza party pie is in Brooklyn because... You should trust me because... Dad, 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 I really want to go to Disney World. I really want to go to Disney World because, because, because... You should give me all your money because... You should help me out because... I think you should accept this offer because... Because, 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 we make a lot of arguments, so we better learn how to make effective ones. This is what is known as rhetoric. Yes, rhetoric. Not rhetoric, but rhetoric. Which is the art of persuasive writing or speaking. Pause. Rhetoric. The art of effective or persuasive writing or speaking. In order to be effective, we use what is known as the rhetorical triangle, which uses the three equal categories of the speaker, the logic of the argument, and the audience's emotions, better known as appeals to ethos, logos, and pathos. She can say in her voice, in her way, that she like me. Well, I... Good afternoon, Eleanor Roosevelt Raiders. You guys know when Mr. Shan says on the announcements? Yeah, well, he's trying to make a connection with his audience because he's an Eleanor Roosevelt Raider, and, well, you are too. He's trying to appeal to ethos. I'm always appealing to ethos if I'm trying to convince you that we're all in this together. Please don't start singing. Now, other ways I can appeal to ethos include looking presentable. For example, tie my bow tie nice and neat so that I look classy as always. What else might I do to establish ethos? Well, I surely want to be an expert on the topic, but I'm your English teacher and I'm teaching about English, so obviously I already have that covered. And last but not least, you want to build a good reputation, but you guys have known me for a few weeks now, so you know I already have that down too. How's it look? I'm Patrick Gleason, and I approve this message. Which Mr. Gleason would you trust? This one? Or this one? Next up is logos. You mean like those little sports pictures? No, those are logos. I'm talking about the appeal to logic. Logos. Oh! Well, now that we have that cleared up, let's discuss the different components of an appeal to logos. In order to do that, I'm going to use my logic backpack which I happen to have right here. So the first thing I need to do is make sure that my argument makes sense, that I just gave a simple, logical reason. For example, take notes on this and your grade will be higher. That seems like it's pretty common sense to me. Next, I could use a picture or a video as evidence. For example, Mr. Gleason graduated from college. Look at this picture. This is clear evidence. No one could dispute that. Logical arguments also use statistics and facts. For example, 99% of all statistics are made up on the spot.
best quarterback alive. Watch this. Go. I have the cutest dog. See? Look at this evidence. Oh, hey look, it's my yellow bandana from high school. Well, we've come to our last rhetorical appeal. Because sometimes we need something emotional to get us going. We must stop the violence. We must stop the horror. We must stop throwing ice. I was once an eight-year-old with a twin brother, playing in the snow, having a good time, until I decided to throw ice. Now, this is my brother. Not voting for Vincent Land for head dab master would be like this. <laughs> Starving. Suffering. Death. Daniel is suffering. For 25 cents a day, he could fulfill all of his needs with this heartwarming, fulfilling cheese sandwich. Wow, that's the clearest milk I've seen all day. It's not milk, it's water. And it keeps him hydrated, healthy, and happy. This fish is the most beautiful fish in the world. Do you see this? Oh my god, I've never seen such a beautiful fish. I love this fish. Hi, my name is Bob, and I approve this message. I got the magic in me. Every time I touch that track, it turns into gold. Everybody knows I got the magic in me. When I hit the flow, the girls come snapping at me. Now everybody wants a blast of magic, 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 magic. your mind. Pick a verse, any verse, I hypnotize you with every line. I'll need a volunteer, how about you, with the eyes? Come on down to the front, stand right here and don't be shy. I have you time traveling, have your mind babbling. People trying to inherit the skills, so they asking me. Even David Blaine had to go and take some classes in. I see mine.